Hi guys, I am back. I have decided to film, which I haven't done so in a couple years. A lot has changed. I now have two kids. One is still in my belly, so I'm pregnant, which is why I'm wearing glasses because I become short-sighted during pregnancy. Weird symptom, I didn't know about it till it happened. I had to convince some doctors about it because they didn't believe me, but basically I've become interested in makeup again. I really went off it. I didn't have time. I had a new baby, but now I guess with COVID and I've been quite sick in pregnancy um, and I've had COVID, it just like, it's a nice creative outlet for me that I can do from the comfort of my own home. So I felt really inspired. I've been binging beauty news episodes <laughs> from 2021, which means I'm behind the times, but I'm really enjoying it. And I've just been playing around with makeup. So what has prompted this video is that because I'm interested in makeup, I, you know, want to look at the new stuff around, I want to buy some things, and I can feel like it's very easily going to get out of control for me. I've already been spending a lot of money on things at the moment just because we've been at home a lot, so yeah, I wanted to try a no-buy. This is after I saw Kat from Kitst, Kitsch, Kitsch Snitch attempted a no buy last year for about three months. Yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. There might be a couple things I need to buy for hospital because I'll be giving birth at some point within the next few months. But I really wanna break my bad habit of just spending without thinking. And you know, my house is already full of stuff. I don't think I need any more things. I thought by putting it on YouTube and you know, having some sort of accountability that I would have a much greater level of success. So that's my plan. I have some like, I guess, basic rules and that I'm not buying makeup, skincare, clothes. Hair care is different because I don't actually overspend with hair care. So I need to buy hair care, etc. And yeah, and if I get too pregnant and my, like, my clothes don't fit, I'm okay with buying some affordable clothes to wear until birth basically. And I'm also trying to not buy any clothes for either of my children right now because I think I've got enough. <laughs> I want to do a similar thing to Kat where I keep a no buy list of things that I want to buy but I'm not going to. And then similar to her at the end of the month I will add up everything that I really wanted to buy and then see how much money I've saved by not buying it. I will say at the moment the thing I'm most tempted by is the NARS eye palette. That's I'm pretty sure it's limited edition for Christmas. And I see it on Mecca and I feel like if I see that it goes low in stock, like if there's not much stock left or if it goes on sale, I probably will buy it. But I don't wanna, I don't want it to be like, if I buy one thing, I just give up. Like I wanna keep pushing on and I'm glad I have you guys to talk to and to like reason with it. With it. But yeah, please give me your no buy tips. I'm definitely the kind of person that is like all or nothing. So I find it easier to go full no buy rather than having like a set amount and trying to do like a low buy. I'm also like still kind of annoyed that looking around in the beauty industry now, I feel like nothing's changed in two years. It all looks same, same, nothing great. Just like a lot of the same thing. I think that's been helpful for me because I'm like bored of it a bit. Anyway, I'm not sure if I'll wear my glasses while filming because I don't know if this reflection will be annoying. Anyway, this is my first video back. I hope it inspires you to, you know, want to minimize the stuff in your life, which is the end goal. To not bring things into my life without thoughtfully thinking about it and just breaking that habit and routine I have of seeing something I want and then buying it. Anyway, I have some video ideas planned. I want to talk about racism in the beauty industry and how that has changed since Black Lives Matter has happened. And I'm hoping to do more like low buy, pan that palette kind of stuff to just, you know, work on using what I have and not be so focused on the new and shiny things. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon.